Hello Amazon.com, this is Bo Chevis, who I am coming to you with a few hints, tips, tricks on how to install these numbers on your house. As you can see, I'm about halfway through putting that guy on right like so. And I hope that these hints, tips, and tricks will save you some heartache from putting these guys on your house. Now, first of all, you're going to be absolutely overwhelmed with all the hardware that you're going to get. The instructions aren't that good. So, hopefully this helps. All right, so if you are going to want to basically put these guys up against the wall, about an inch off of the wall, so they're basically, they're gonna be floating off of the wall. They're not going to be completely flush up against there, which honestly I think is kind of cool, the fact that you actually have numbers floating off of your wall. You are going to need these little spacers, and these slide over, and they kind of keep it off of your your wall, like so, your your, uh, your paneling, uh, the, your siding on your house. All right, now if in fact you want these guys to lay flush, you're gonna want to put these little short guys on there. And these just screw into the back of the numbers. As you can see, this is considerably shorter than this, and you're just going to uh, yeah, basically just screw these right into the back. But once again, just use the longest of these screws. They're going to look just like this, but they're longer. And you slide, you, you screw each of those in, you put the spacers on, and you do that for each of your numbers. And then once you've got that, that is step one and you are ready to rock. These are poised and ready. Then you're going to get these little plugs right here, and you're going to be hammering these into the house and these are basically going to slide right onto there like so all the way up till that point okay so in order to actually put these into the house obviously you're gonna have to drill a hole and that is where we come to this little guy i have a three uh, uh, three sixteenths of an inch drill bit and I found that this was actually even though the, the instructions say three sixteenths of an inch this is actually too small and uh, so if you do use something like this as you can see they are almost the exact same size um, once you actually drill into the wall uh, just kind of rotate it rotate it a little bit just to make the hole a little bigger than you need to um, obviously, you can't undo making a hole too big, so always start with a smaller hole and then just kind of slowly rotate it until this slips in. If in fact you're forcing this in and you start to hammer it, this will shatter. So make sure that it slips in, not too easily, but you're not forcing this in and you have to hammer it. Um, also, you'll note that I put a little piece of tape on there to coincide with the depth of this, so I'm not... Um, you know, I don't have to go like super, super deep into the wall with my drill bit, but it's, um, when I'm drilling in, I get to this point, I'm like, hey, great, I'll stop because I see that the tape is right there and that coincides with that. Eh, brilliant, right? Okay, now lastly, once you start to put it onto your house, as you can see, the spacers are right there and it coincides with the template. Uh, don't just hammer this um, with just any regular hammer. Uh, be sure to put like a soft piece of uh, cloth or towel over it. Actually, I'm just using uh, my baseball cap, this thick cardboard part right there, putting it up against there and hammering it. And that is sufficing very, very nicely. My last little hint tip trick is when you put these templates on, which by the way, these templates are included with uh, your instructions right there. So when you're ripping open the uh, the frustrating blister pack Be sure you don't rip it too much or you'll end up uh, ripping your templates But once again when you put the templates on just overdo the tape on this because once you start to drill one You don't want these to move at all. So just go crazy with the tape and then once it's all taped up like that you go ahead and get this and you pop it on right. Oh, I gotta get it right on. Right there. Ready, set, going. Beautiful. And then all the way in until we hit the tape. And then get all that out, maybe a little more. And beautiful. And then we are going to be popping this guy in like so. And oh, maybe I need to make that hole a bit bigger because if I start to hammer 
this, it's just gonna shatter. So I'm gonna go back and make that hole a bit bigger. And then, uh, yeah, once all of these plugs are in, simply get your numbers that are all poised and ready and then just slide those right into. And that's it, amazon.com, Bo Chevisu. Hope you enjoyed this review.